See, listening is a, an ability to listen to and understand major varieties of standard native English spoken across the world. See, the listening yeah, that you hear is not uh, English spoken by Indians or any other foreign speakers, but by native speakers. Nat native speakers means speakers like Americans, Australian, uh, British. When you say the accent is different, you know, English as a language is very different from what we know about it. We as Indians, as foreigners, when we learn English, we do not learn many aspects of English, which is known as accent. Accent, in other words, you can say the way you speak, but when, when, when you say the way you speak, you do not follow many characteristics of English, like word accent and intonation. So one of the important uh, characteristics of English is word accent. That is, you know, stress. stress means you have to give some additional force here and there when you speak a word. Oh, we call it syllable, you know. You can divide a word into syllables and you have to stress some words here and there, some, some syllables to make it very simple. You understand? For example, when you say the word hotel, you know, you divide the word into two syllables and O and tell and you have to give additional stress in the syllable tell. So you have to say hotel. Hotel. And uh, examination, you know, when you say the word examination, there are five syllables, examination, and you have to have the stress on ne, examination. So all the words have stress, that is the important thing. All the, you know, content words, except grammatical words like propositions and conjunctions, articles, other content words like noun, adjectives, verb, and adverb, they all have this feature. But we do not know it. And we do not follow while we practice, I mean, we speak English. So before us, we say hotel, examination, English, police. We say like that. But they speak differently. They say police. Police, police. They say English. They don't say English. It's like, you know, in Indian languages do not have this feature. So you understand this feature because, you know, when you listen to English, this is the main thing that differs uh, I mean, our English from native English. Okay. I just gave you this uh, aspect. One of the very important uh, things, uh, there are a lot of things, but uh, when you do IELTS listening, you should understand that the, the uh, English ca has uh, this characteristics. Okay. And try to speak, imitate, like uh, when you speak English, uh, when you listen to their English, try to imitate how they speak. That will be an added uh, advantage when you do your speaking also. And some basic information uh, for listening is that, uh, you know, you have to listen to record a conversation and answer 40 questions in 30 minutes time. The test is mainly divided into four sections and these sections are further divided. 10 minutes extra is given to transfer the answers into an answer sheet from the question booklet. So the total time is 30 plus 10, 40 minutes. The question booklet is given before the recording starts and you won't get some time before each section to read the questions. And it is a simultaneous process. You are listening and answering the question at the same time. This is, these are all basic information which you already know, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. okay. And uh, let's see, you know, in the listening, as it is divided into, four, divided into four sections. See, the first section, this is how it is divided. The first section is a monologue. Okay, monologue means single and monologue means a single person speech like a news item, a lecture in a college or a speech. This section would be easier. The second section is a dialogue. 
here you will find more than one person uh, like I mean like um, a receptionist and a client it can be between two friends or between two students third section again is a monologue and the fourth section is a dialogue where you will find more than two persons right do you know this yes sir, yes, sir. Oh, okay uh, you have you, you know it so we don't need to go in detail like this and the varieties of questions are multiple choices questions fill in the blanks labeling make map or a diagram short answer questions table flowchart completion etc okay so here one important thing is that you know you have to read the instructions carefully okay. why because i insist this to you because many a time when we do the listening practice there are instructions and uh, you know in the examination also instructions and you may think that you know many a time that not reading the instructions would save you much time because you think that you know the instructions would be of the same pattern but yes, that yes. is a great mistake many a time what happens is that in the real ielts listening tests the instructions would carry some vital information which might be different from the usual pattern sometimes in the in the practice test it's like three words but in the real test it may be like two words and if you do not read the instructions carefully and if you do not know this what the instructions clearly tells you you will be penalized for it that means you you will not be get, get your mark for it for example the instruction says write two words and if you write three words as you did in the practice test you will not get any mark for it so that's why i tell you you have to read the instructions very carefully so each time when you do practice or the real test you have to read the instructions very carefully is it okay yes sir and the second thing is that uh, what happens is that you know uh, i as i told you you have the question booklet in your hand and you read the questions okay so before each section you get some time and you have the question in mind and you know you start listening to the recorded conversation and what question you are looking for the answer for one question right what happens is that you know when you if you do not get the answer for that question and if the answer is already set in the recording what happens is that you will be the same person but the recording goes on giving you the answers for the other questions as well and you will come to know about this only after that block of question or that section gets over right Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, has it happened to you sometimes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because sometimes I'm not, I may not able to find the answer, and I keep, I uh, still keep on searching for the answer. Yeah, that's what you know. We we have question number three in our. We have answered one, two, and now we have question number three, and we are eagerly listening to get the answer. And the answer is already set, but we did not get it. The answer is already set in the recording. and then the recording goes to say the answer for question number 4 5 6 7 but uh, as we did not get the answer for question number 3 we are stuck and we lose all the answers right yes sir yes sir so so the in, so here the important thing is that you know you don't just go look at look for the answers many people say that you know you just go for the look for the answers no if you look for the answers a lot and as we are not very familiar with their type of speaking what happens is that we don't get the thread of the conversation we don't properly understand the context of the speaking so it is always uh, i mean recommendable to listen carefully each thread of the conversation okay in the very beginning itself you know you have to have uh, understand who the speakers are what are they speaking the context of the speaking and what they are speaking and you have to listen to it each and every aspect very carefully 
then you know you understand oh my god you know you if you have the question and if they change the context of speaking you can understand that you know you missed that answer and you can go to the next question so it is very important and you have to practice it like that so if you if you listen each and every word and understand the content of what they speak very rarely you may miss the answer for a particular question and even if you miss the answer for a particular question you know you you will be able to get the answer for the next question so obviously you have to have you know when you look for the answer for question number 3 you have to have some idea about question number 4 and 5 also okay. that is why you know you are getting some time to read the questions before each section begins so read all the questions and you should have what the questions are in your mind all the questions not just one question but all the questions if a particular block consists four questions you have to have an idea of all the four questions when you listen to it not just one question even though you concentrate on one question you have to have an idea or a memory of the following questions as well so that you don't miss so even if you miss even after listening very carefully very high concentration you did everything but still you may miss but if you listen to all the conversation very carefully at the end you may be able to guess the answers and write okay okay but don't wait till all the listening test gets over immediately after that immediately after that particular block ends you scribble down the answers guess the answers according to the content what you understand from the conversation and write the answers don't leave it them to be written at the end of the test did you understand my point yes sir yes. so that means you know you have one um, uh, block from 1 to 4 you have all the questions in your mind 1 to 4 you have listened to each thread of the conversation but you could write only answer 1 and 2 3 and 4 you you miss the answers and the the record in that section is over but you didn't get the answer what you should do immediately you have to recollect the content and guess the answers for question number 3 and 4 and write down write them down immediately okay otherwise you know you will for, you will forget everything by the end of the test if you think that you know, would write at the end of the examination okay yes okay another thing is that you have to use the correct part of speech so can you tell me what is part of speech look part of speech is so suppose we the last time we discussed like it was said like the gun so we have to write it as a... sorry yeah part of speech means you know like noun adjective verb adverb like that right so what happens is that in the conversation you know they talk and they may use a verb there but in the question you might change the answers to a noun for example here look here in this question here you record you hear the recording in the recording you hear like angel was saying i was very tired so i couldn't go to work that's what you hear from the recording right and the question is angelina's dash prevented her from going for work so here you heard the word tired 
But can you write tired there? Angelina's tired prevented her from going for work. No, sir. No, why can't you write? It's changing. You have to change because you know tired doesn't fit there. If you write Angelina's tired prevented her from going for work. The word tired, which is an adjective, it doesn't suit to the remaining part of the question. So you have to change the adjective tired to the noun form of it, which is tiredness, which will suit to the question. You can say Angelina's tiredness prevented her from going for work. You got it? Okay. So you have to think you have to, or you have to check whether the answer that you write agrees with the question grammatically. That's very important. Okay. Professor, one second. Can you go yeah. back to the slide again? Sorry? Yes, sir, this one. So can't we can can we write the tiredness in here in this case? We have to write tiredness here. Okay. We have to write tiredness here, tiredness, because Angelina, this is the question, Angelina's dash prevented her from going to work. So here, what you hear is tired in the conversation that you hear is tired. Okay. But tired doesn't fit here. Angelina's yes, tired, yes. Prevented tired. Tired. Right. Angelina's tiredness prevented uh, her from going for work. Okay. So usually when you do listening, do you get concentration when you do listening or you know your mind wanders? Sir, what happens is like uh, if I have answered the first four questions, like I'll be confident enough to answer the rest. So if I start, if I lose the first two questions, two answers, and I'll start losing my contents and I'm not able to concentrate on the next one. Yeah, that's very uh, common problem because, you know, when you start something, you are not set for it. And when you get the first question, you become very confident, though it will help you to get the answers for the remaining question. So uh, here, you know, tune, tuning into the test is very important. Tuning into the test. So you have to be calm and cool. This everybody says you have to be calm and cool, but you know, when the real test come, usually uh, very rarely people can be calm and cool, right? Yes, but try to be calm and cool. Try it. You know, you can be calm and cool by boosting yourself up and giving yourself some advice, like you know, it's okay. It's just a test. Mm, I'm going to listen very carefully. I'll be very calm and cool. So you you can you know counsel yourself somehow or the other you have to make everything calm and cool okay don't think about don't be panicked don't be nervous and uh, when you when you enter into the listening hall in the examination hall you know you can look at the pictures they there's a nice picture or you can say hey, hi to others with a smiling face it all you know you have to make yourself calm and cool you have to be relaxed but the, the, because you know when you do something in a very calm and cool manner you you you, you can concentrate more right if you're panic or if you're nervous uh, you cannot be uh, you cannot concentrate right yes. so first thing is be calm and cool so for becoming calm and cool even if you when you practice Take a two, a three deep breath and relax yourself and try to concentrate. And try to you synchronize uh, yourself into the test. Okay. So you get a few seconds to read the questions before each section begins. And before the subdivision of a particular section, use this time carefully. You must spend this time first reading questions carefully. This would gently help you in tuning into the test. That means, you know, read the question very gently, very carefully and try to understand the question. So mind can do only one thing at a time. It cannot do two things at a time. So when you read the question very carefully, you know, you, your nervousness vanishes. 
all the problems vanishes you know you get right you you, you slowly tune into the test and when you listen listen carefully you have to follow each set of the conversation do not try to listen only for the answer to hear and also to confirm the answer it is essential i have already told you and the next thing is identify the speakers you have to understand uh, who the speakers are whether it is a conversation between husband and wife or in a receptionist and a client or a policeman and a driver whoever they are so you have to identify the speakers and understand the context of speaking you should also try to understand where the conversation is taking place whether it is in a hotel home or school and whether you're filling in the application form etc so all these things will help you to tune to the test and don't do it in a very deliberate manner all these things should happen to you in a very natural way by constant practice so yes sir, and, yes sir and in here he said that sir uh, understanding the context of speaking so if there's a communicate if uh, there is some conversation between the two persons so i'm not understanding the context what i'm just searching for the answers mm-hmm. so this is what's happening to me uh, that's I, uh, that you know because uh, uh in the beginning sometimes you know in the instruction uh and before the uh in the recording itself they say that the conversation is between uh a client and a receptionist they say many a time and sometimes even if they say by what they say you have to have a feeling that you know this is a conversation between you know like a teacher and a student or a husband and wife or two strangers this is very important and you know nothing will happen one on one day so when you do listening from today onwards have this thing in mind uh try it in an intuitive way by what you listen try to understand you know who the speakers are and don't you know articulate them in your mind but you have to have a feeling that you know this is happening between a teacher and a student or a, a, a restaurant uh, uh a waiter and a customer you have to have this in, in your mind and you know when you listen like this gradually 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 and you know automatically when you listen in the real test you will have some sort of intuitions you don't need to uh struggle to understand the context of speaking in the beginning it may be bit difficult for you but as you practice and practice it will very easily come to you that you know the speakers are so and so okay so it's a all a matter of practice you have to practice it okay and um, try to understand the nature of speaking whether it is a friendly conversation or it's a telephone conversation or is somebody is giving direction passing information a news item etc and try to predict your answers say uh this is a listening practice tip uh, do not do it at the examination alone here when you read get the question in the you take a listening question booklet and go to the question try to predict the answers when i say predict the answers what do you mean by that uh you can check whether the answer is a date name of a place or any other name a digit a day a month etc and this prediction would enhance definitely enhance the chance the chance of getting the correct answer that is you 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 read the question and you haven't recorded anything you haven't listened to any conversation but you have the question and you try to predict the answer so oh, this can be the month of a the name of a month this can be a date this can be a person's name it can be a place name or this can be this subject this can be that so in that way you can just try to predict the answers and when you listen to the actual conversation you can have a very good idea of getting the right answer if you predict the answers okay okay for example if the question asks you where has alice decided to go what would be the answer go 
it would be a place it would be definitely a place where has alice decided to go definitely there is no doubt about it it would be a place name and which place name that you have to find out okay okay and uh, sometimes it may be a friend's house also sometimes it may be a place name like uh, you know chicago hmm? yes okay so all these things you can you know the possibilities are there and that's what i'm saying even if you do not if even if you skip the answer for a particular question if you can predict you can guess the answers at the end of the section by what you heard in the content in the in the conversation and you can write the answers at the end if you can predict okay okay now uh, there is an exercise if you can see my screen can you tell me about the places i mean uh, the, can you predict the answers for this question question number one look at the following questions and predict the word type which day of the week has the least uh, traffic 9 30 a.m to 6 p.m weekdays weekdays First question, what can be the answer? Monday to Friday. Yeah, maybe. And second question? And it's a weekend, uh, the timing. Time, yeah, because the, no time is given. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, so you had to find out the time there. And uh, area dealt with dash, question number three. Here, what can be the answer here? Question number three. Here we have no suburbs. So here, one part is there. Area dealt with, one answer is no suburb. That is already given. So you have to find out the other option here. So what can be the other answer here? It could be a noun. It could be, it could be? A noun. It could be a noun, but what type of answer? Name of the name of the place it can it, it would definitely about the name of a place and is given north suburb here so what and this clue here indicates you about the nature of the answers that uh, can appear here so direction sir no 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 area so here so here when you look at the questions you understood when you read the question one two you understood the context of the speaking right what is it about all about area deal dealt with with no. kind of books or no no uh, what i'm saying is that you know when you when you read the questions you should understand what type what is the context of speaking so here what you are going to listen when you read the question you understand it because yes. first question says uh first question says which day of the week has the least traffic so it will be definitely about what i'll get to friday week no 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 i'm asking week. the context the background of the speaking what what okay, okay. who can be the speakers and what can be the content of the speaking Uh, for the traffic yeah it is about the traffic which day of the week because you know of course question ask about which question which day of the week has the least traffic and then question number two says you know uh, ask about the time on saturdays and then the third question is area dealt with familiar. by reading area dealt with, yes area dealt with this uh which is saying about something which is familiar at this place yeah, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm saying that here no suburb is given. So, obviously, you can guess like it may be South Suburb. suburb. The, the answer may not be South Suburb, maybe some something else. But as it is given, obviously, this no suburb here will indicate you to the another area which is related. Maybe South Suburb, we do not know. But anyway, it would be related to no suburb, right? Suburb. Similar to this. 
so you can have a lot of answers in the in in guessing it can be south suburb or any other answers which is most probably related to north suburbs right so here i'm saying is that you know when you read the three questions you understood the context of the speaking you you can guess ah okay this is a conversation or this is a monologue where somebody may be a traffic policeman uh, giving uh, an idea about uh, you know the traffic of a particular of place it can be a policeman speaking giving a general uh, information about the traffic hmm? okay. it can be it can it, it can be about uh, you know two persons conversing about uh, some other thing but you know they have to understand the traffic of the area before they do something like that so all these type of questions should come to your mind to understand the context of the speaking we do not know any way for certain what it is but context i mean you can still predict that answers okay question number four meet at office on monday tuesday wednesday it can be any day it can be on on monday on tuesday because the preposition here also helps you because you know we before the name of a day we have to use the preposition on so if you know that also you can have uh, the answers uh, you can guess the answers because on we use before a date and before a day but if it is year like 1995 obviously it cannot be a day it would be what what would, what it would be if it is in for example office in first floor or second floor or it can be first floor second floor or it can be year in 1995 not in i'm not talking about specific i'm talking about general okay. if you have the okay. preposition in uh, the answer will be year and if the preposition is on it can be date like 25th of january or it can be the day of a day on monday on tuesday on wednesday etc okay so give a deposit of dash pay for contract so it is uh, 500 rupees or dollars yeah, it's an amount uh, amount right? so. it's amount we know it's it cannot be anything else it can be amount and who is mrs carolyn worried about uh, she, she must be worried about a person because definitely uh, who is yeah because this who yeah obviously about uh, a person who is very much close to mrs carolyn right yes okay then we have the question john teaches history and dash what would be the answer there it could be Sorry. like geography any other subject it can be along with this yes if you have any further queries please call it a number for that could number be a phone yeah. number yes terry and lindsay got married in the year could and be. here comes you know here it is in so obviously even if they say the date 30th march 1995 if you write in 30th march 1995 that's a man of be appropriate so you have you hear you have to write in 1995 only okay. and look you have to look at the word limit as well okay, okay. so here the answer is a day time area any suburb except north Fourth one is again a day. Five amount. Six a person. Seven a subject. Eight a number. Nine a year. So at least if you have a prediction like this, you know, it makes your listening easier because you are concentrating to your your focus to listen to some specific idea about it. If it is an ear, okay. you are listening for an ear. Okay. 